Well, hi everyone. This is a supplemental video that I put together for this guy HD TV antenna. So I'm going to cover over the air environments and how to find yours. Go over the Sky HD TV antenna itself, do a size comparison to a Channel Master 8 bay antenna, and also show you my current setup. To check what stations are out there, I prefer a website called tvfool.com, but there are several out there that you can use. On TV Fool, right on the front page, uh, you can click to enter your address. Uh, once you put that in there, they'll give you detailed information about where your towers are located, and they color code how easy it is to get the stations in. They also provide other information on that site. So here's a look at my situation. I have some towers right off to the east that I'm trying to get that are pretty low in signal strength, and one due south that's also pretty low. So TV Fool also uh, gives you the signal strengths. Uh, the ones that I want, one is so low it's off the chart at below minus 100, and this one due south, which is also really low. Okay, let's take a look at the antenna itself. So first, let's take a look at what's in the box. So of course you get the antenna itself. Uh, it also comes with 30 feet of cable to run it down to your television or box coming inside your house. It has the inline amplifier and it comes with mounting hardware, which is very nice. It has the instruction manual and something I appreciate it has a packing list and you can see here it's checked by two separate people to make sure that you get everything the first time around. So now look inside the antenna itself. So the antenna, you can see here, nice and small. Uh, it has eight separate screws, four on each side. And the screws that are in it are Torx screws. So if you're going to take it apart yourself, you're going to need one of those screwdrivers. So I'm going to speed this up so, uh, to save you the pain of watching me open it up. And then between the two sides, there is this environmental seal that goes around it. And the, the preamplifier circuit board is also screwed into the one, one side of the case. So to lift it out, you can see here that it has two identical pieces of sheet metal on either side that are connected to that center circuit board that has the preamp and also the coax connector on it. So here's just some pictures of it. Some close-ups of the circuit board. The circuit board is, I mean, it's remarkably simple in its design, but it, it does work very well. Like I say in my review, it's got good performance. So I mentioned in my review that I was using a Channel Master 4228 8-bay antenna. This isn't my picture, but it's one on the web. It's a pretty large antenna. I was also using their 7777 preamp and amplifier. I just want to show you a size comparison. Like I say in my review, they, they have very similar performance to each other, but you can see that this Sky antenna is so significantly smaller than that Channel Master. Uh, it's a lot easier to work with, a lot easier to mount, has about the same performance. But because neither the Channel Master nor Sky give me the performance I need, and you might be in the same boat, I want to show you my current setup where I use two antennas. I have these RCA antennas. You can buy them off of Amazon for about $50 each. I'm still using that Channel Master amp and preamp, and here's a look at them mounted on top of my patio roof. Uh, you can see that they're angled off probably about 75 degrees from each other to get those two towers that I want. Uh, and they work very well. So that's the end. Thank you very much for watching.